So in this video, you are going to get to the uh, shadows, but I did want to tell you that um, some of these I had to play with a little bit more. I wanted to basically uh, add in some more highlights. Basically, I went back and put in a highlight here on the right side, a couple dots, uh, a little more lines in here, and I have those all in one spot so I can make those highlights in the middle go away or come back. And um, I can also tell you that I worked a little more on the swirl, just erasing some. Uh, over here on the left side, we have another bright one, so I'm just going to show you how I do that. Basically, if you are on your little layer here, the bowl highlight layer, and I have a effects on there, I'm going to go ahead and just make a, a little extra um, white line in this area. So I'm just going to add some extra white here. And it looks like, geez, that doesn't really work at first, right? Well, all you do is just switch to your finger tool um, and on a, a relatively uh, mid-range, 45% there, mid-range, mid you just start kind of wiggling it down, wiggle back and forth, and you end up with a nice little faded wiggling highlight that, that joins that very nicely. I'm also going to make sure that my highlight here on the bottom left here is really solid. Um, cause it really should be nice and bright there. We'll let that kind of fade down like so. Alright, so if you think about it, we've got some really cool highlights going on in here. We might have some other ones that we'll have to put in somewhere else on our piece, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it with that and, and go ahead and start working on the shadows. So, many of the shadows we already have in. Let's go ahead and zoom out and um, see what shadows we have to have here. It looks like I've got a big shadow underneath the bowl here. Um, looks like I'm going to have to maybe uh, look in, zoom in, and rotate mine to make that work. So let's see. Let's take the whole thing and rotate it. Oops, oops there we go. Rotate. And it's going to rotate all windows, so let's see how that looks. All right, let's move this over. All right, so basically it's like the exact same shape. Let's start with maybe a selection then on ours and uh Let's make a selection to protect our area. A little bigger than that. Let's see here. A little smaller than that. Let's see. Hmm, just a little bigger than that. I'm going to do an expand here. Let's see. Let's see, just about like so. So it takes a couple times before you get it. I think that's about it. All right. And what we want to do is say select inverse so we can work outside here. So we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to make a much bigger brush here. And we're going to start by getting this gray value in here. Yes, it's just cutting off my end of my picture. That's no problem. And I'll just paint this out really quickly. And then because it's a very um, hard brush, we're going to put it softer. And we're going to get some values in between and make it nice and even. Let's see how that works. Working over here. Just kind of making that area kind of grayish there and then what we'll do is we'll see if we can create this darker fade here so I'm going to work the darker fade and we'll make our brush somewhat crisper and see if we can make that darker fade and it just kind of comes around the side here like so Just like so, and I'm just going to let it kind of keep going a little too far. That's good. And we'll just come back and erase. Make that go away. Now let's see if I can crisp in my brush up a little bit to make that a little clearer. And 
just kind of pushing around. I just kind of work back the other way. Once again, going too far over here and coming back with a lighter color on the inside to make that kind of hook around. I need to get this outside color and see if I can work that a little bit to make that go away. Let's see how that worked. All right. Let's rotate that back. And see how that looks. Maybe a little light. Let's see if we can make it a little darker. We'll just... I probably shouldn't have done that in a bowl highlight layer, but no big deal. It's all going to go in the same place in the end. Um, I'm going to get a darker color in there. And I can always cut this. And Let's see here. All right. All right. Very good. So now we have a nice little shadow. Let's see where else we have to add some shadows, probably do some more of that same type of thing elsewhere. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that in fast motion and let you see kind of how we handle that.